Good morning, fifth graders. How are you all doing today? Today in the exciting world of mathematics, we're going to learn a lesson on mean, median, mode, and range. Mean, median, mode are called measures of central tendencies. And essentially what this means is a lot of times in math we have big groups of numbers. And sometimes we want to know, hey, what's the one number that best represents that group? And we do this through mean, median, and mode. Range is another uh, number that helps us define a group. It takes the biggest number in a data set and the smallest number in a data set. We subtract these numbers and that's what the range of the data set is. So let's continue on with our lesson. And first we're going to start by defining mean. You're going to need to know that mean is two different words. Mean and average. They both mean the same thing. So if you see the word average you're finding them the mean. If it tells you to find the mean, remember you're finding the average. To do this it's really simple. Um, all we have to do is add up all the numbers in the data set. So we find the sum of the data set. Sum means the answer to an addition problem. And then after we found that sum, we divide it by however many numbers are in the set. So if we have 15 numbers in the set, we're dividing by 15. If there are 100 numbers in the set, we're dividing by 100. You know, if you have a really large number, like 10,000 numbers in your data set, you are dividing by 10,000. Okay, so here we go. It says we have to find the means of these data sets. And to do that, we are going to activate the pen because I want to show you what I'm doing here. So I'm going to grab this pen color. What color? Yeah, there we go. Uh, 4 plus 6 is 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. That first data set that we're looking at, when we sum those up, 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay, so we write down we got 20 there, and we are going to divide that by 4. Why? Because we have four numbers in the data set. So 20 divided by 4. If you're not very good at a division, you have to think backwards. 4 times what number equals 20? And then the answer to this problem is 5. So the mean of this first data set is 5. All right, let's look at the second data set. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I would probably just add up all those first numbers and then tack on a 0. So I got 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. So I have 2 whoop, I'm going to write that over here, 210 in my data set. And I have to divide that by 3, 6. I got six numbers in my data set. And we're going to go, 6 will go into 21. If I go four times, that's 24. So that's too big. So I can only go three. Six times three is 18. So I put my 18 there. Oh, and then I have a problem. I can't take this big fat 8 from the little tiny 1. So I got to borrow. Here I go. I'm borrowing. That becomes a 1. This We bring 10 over. So now we got 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. Can't go into 3. 6 won't go into 3. So I'm going to bring down my 0. And 6 times what number is 30? Well, that's 5. So the mean of the second data set is 35. It says I can click for answers. Should we try that? See if that function works. Whoops. I need to next. Let's just go to the next slide. Well now the next number in this finding um, measures of central tendency our next term is median and uh, that is the number in the middle. So to do that, the first you have to do two steps here as well. First, you got to order the numbers from the smallest to the largest. So that's from the little to the big. And then you start crossing out the numbers on the outside to find the number in the middle. OK. Sets with odd numbers. So if you have a set with 5, you're going to have a number that's exactly in the middle. Sets with even numbers, there's a little complication. When you cross off all the outside numbers, you're going to wind up with two numbers in the middle. So what you have to do when you have um, even numbers is you find those two middle numbers, and then you add them together, 
and then divide that by two. So and essentially here, if you have an even number set, you gotta find an average. You find the average of those two numbers that are in the middle. So that's what we do to find the median. And it looks like we're gonna have to do that here. So let me do this. I'm going to uh, click on my draw button and it's gonna give me a screen here. And so in that first set, let's uh, line up our numbers. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, cross off the outside numbers. And how about if we change, okay. cross off the outside numbers. Now I have two new outside numbers. So I'll cross them out and my answer here is six. Okay, in the next data set, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So I'm going to put those numbers in order. What if I do that up here? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Okay, and let's just for the fun, it's usually so hard to see on a screen. Cross off the outside numbers. Boom, 1 is gone. Boom, 11 is gone. Have some fun with this. 9, you're gone. Three, you're gone. Uh-oh, now I have two numbers in the middle. What do I do? Oh, don't panic. Remember when you're finding the mean median and you have two numbers in the middle, add them together. Five plus seven is 12. I have to change the color because yellow. We will do that. We have 12 and we're gonna divide that by what? Class is thinking, class is thinking. Oh, I see lots of hands up in the air. Show me on your hands in the air the number that you think should go with this. Right, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So that is the median of that data set. Awesome. It says here we can click for answers. Should we try that? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Got that working again here. I need to do, I need my pointer. Click for answers. And that keeps coming back on me. All right, so we're not gonna click for the answers. We just did it right. Let's move along. Mode. Mode is Mr. Popular. When finding the mode, it's often useful to order the numbers. You don't have to do that, but it just kind of makes things stick out a little bit better for you. So we're gonna find Mr. Popular or Miss Popular in a data set when we find the mode. A set may not have a mode or there may be more than one mode. So you can have multiple modes in a data set. Okay, so it says to find the mode of these data sets and I think we'll just kind of point some things out here. Let me go back down and get my draw tool and I have a one. I'm going to circle it and I have another one in my data set so I'm going to circle that and I didn't put these in order because I could pretty much easily see that I have two ones and two threes. So the mode of this data set is one and it is also three and that's because I had two of those alright now in this next one let's put this in order so we got to start out with looking at the small number we got six we got ten and then we have twelve okay next is gonna come fourteen eighteen eighteen twenty two and then we have another twenty two and then I can easily tell that uh, I have 22 as my mode in this data set. All right, so to summarize finding the mode, you're looking for the popular number. If you need to, order them from smallest to largest and then look for the most popular number. If you don't have a number that is more popular than the other numbers, there's only one of each number, then the mode would be no mode. Never write zero mode, you write no mode. All right, so just to summarize here, the mean, it's also called the average, 
and you have to do two things to find the mean. First, add up all the numbers. Then, divide by how many are in the set. Median. That's the number in the middle. You have to order the numbers first and then find the number in the middle. If you have a data set with an even number of numbers, when you cross them all off, you're going to end up with two in the middle. And then what you have to do is divide, add those two. First, find the sum of those two and then divide by two. The mode. The mode is Mr. Popular. So find the most common number in the data set. A lot of times what you're going to need to do with mode is also line them up. That'll make it easier to tell when you have them from the smallest to the largest who Mr. Popular is or who Miss Popular is. And then the last sub term that we have here, and we didn't really deal with it in this lesson, is range. And all you do to find the range is you take your data set, find the smallest number, subtract that smallest number from the biggest number, and that will give you the range. And we are officially finished.